Whew. I'm here to speak on behalf of the, uh, the poor, the elderly, who are struggling because of the issues that you deal with and how you deal with them. So we're talking about a thing that's going to navigate people. I took a look at some figures and I figured some people here might ought to hear them. If we look at Denver with 40,000 immigrants, and we think that they cost $1,000 a month for housing, it's going to be $480 million for one year. That's just the $1,000, and I don't think you can get housing for that. If you feed those people 40,000 at $200 a month per person, I don't think that's possible today, if any of you have gone to the grocery store, that's 96 million in a year. We are headed for a tsunami. I don't think you know what you're heading at. The total of that, $576 million. Your budget, if I am correct, and I Googled it, I might be wrong, is only 72 million. I ask you how you think you're going to afford it. Now, I'm not sure I'm correct on all those numbers, but they're pretty close. Now, personally, I live on a budget of $30,000. My husband was a school teacher, and I worked as, for Jefferson County, and I had a disability and we had to quit. We had our advisors and they assured us that we were gonna have enough money to survive. Well, I'll tell you how I survive on $30,000. You have done such wonderful work with your housing that you have cost my taxes to go up to $4,000. Oops, I'm getting really close. $3,000 for, uh, for insurance, $3,000 for my car, $10,000 extra. Take that out and I live on $20,000. Now, I go to have to go to get clothing from the goodwill. Now I'm so poor I have to repair the clothing. I go to the food bank and I'll tell you what I see. I see immigrants coming in, shostling and pushing us out as they cut line, take more food than is it, they're required to do, and our poor staff that deals with those things are out of their ever-loving mind trying to figure out how they're going to handle it. Yeah. You ask how I'm coping? For God's sakes, help me. Please put this thing down and take care of what you need to take care of. <laughs> 